Hello guys, this is Engineer Vakas Ahmed and today I'm going to share with you one of the best thing to understand when you are going to make your project schedules. This is one of the project schedule I received from my student who is enrolled to get learning for Primavera P6 project planning control. So this is shutdown project uh, and it is uh, submitted for the review and all that. So this is the major and basic thing every planner need to understand that whenever you have scope, it doesn't mean you have to make your WBS and uh, continue to make fill all the activities from start to end and it's done. It's not good practice. I just received this case. I analyzed it and uh, I instructed to my student and that's why I'm making video on this point for many planning engineers out there who are suffering this situation. I'm going to give you a smart solution for this situation using artificial intelligence tool. So here you can see that as per project management standards, either you are working on an EPC project or plant shutdown, it looks not good if you are going to make your activities this much under one single WBS. You can see it is not the standard of project management. You need to make maximum 10 activities within one WBS. That is a complete and good project planning best practice. You got my point? Now, my student has submitted this case with me to review that uh, is good or not. I will, I will talk about that thing that this is not good at all. So these are, I guess, 50 activities loaded over here. Okay. So 50 activities should not be under one single WBS. So what I have done to guide my student that we have to break down this WBS into further five more WBS because we have around about uh, 50 activities over here, right? So there should be five more WBS. So how to create WBS? Uh, we can't make heat exchanger one, heat exchanger two. It's single heat exchanger for which all the activities and this situation can be across other projects as well. If even if you are civil engineer, architecture engineer, petrochemical, working in oil and gas, other scope of work also facing same kind of thing. Okay. So how to break down? You can see here, obtain the work permit, do uh, blinding. These are the pre-shutdown activities. So one WBS is pre-shutdown. And then you can see remove support. These are the things which you are going to make yeah, or which you are going to do before you are going to conduct your shutdown. Okay. And then you can see uh, there are and smart solution. This is the one way you can go into the scope and you can categorize, you can sit with your team, you can sit with your uh, people, subject matter expert people and these 50 activities can be broken down uh, on the basis of this pre shutdown, shutdown and then post shutdown and then there are testing, commissioning activities. But smart solution is here. I just make this thing into my chat GPT. This is actually the paid version with me. So I just put this image and instructed to chat GPT. You are my project scheduling expert for heat exchanger. Here is image attached for project schedule of heat ex exchanger scope. That's I'm actually showing that how artificial intelligence and how chat GPT, which is the uh, artificial intelligence one application, how it is going to change our approach is going to save our time. So just see the magic. I want you to consider all activities under this heat exchanger to further categorize as work packages as the sorry, pardon me for the wrong spellings, but okay, there are too many activities within single WBS. I want to make these activities to fill in more WBS. Okay, I hope that understand. So see all the activities pre shutdown, disassembly, inspection and cleaning, testing and repair, reassembly, plant, post shutdown activities. How logical way and how smart solution is there with chat GPT. So as long as it concerns with today's video, I just want to deliver you people one concept. Don't ever put such kind of laborious activity details or trail like 50 activities within one WBS. There is a standard you should put maximum 10 to 12 activities within one WBS. If there is more activities and you don't have WBS like 18 activities, there is a possibility to break down those 18 activities into two WBS. Just think beyond 
the limit you know think beyond uh, out of the box sit with your project man there can be something you can break down see uh, as chat gpt has suggested me that if i have laborious activities i can make one work package for disassembly so what is the benefit for breaking down this single wbs of 50 activities into these five to six wbs it will be very easy when it is it will be planned it will be as per project management standards that we have accurate and activities are fill in within the limit okay so that is actually the best practice of project management and moreover you can see human psyche as well it looks very good if you will see the things like over here different headings and you will be very easy that which activity where under disassembly you will find only those focused activities under cleaning only those activities but like this it looks no good i want you people to write in comments and guide and uh, suggest on this situation are you planning engineer are looking for your job career in planning if you are already planning engineer working so how much this uh, point help you thank you very much